Hello, this is Sean with SAP Press, and this video is going to show you how to use our e-reader and mobile application to read the materials included in your subscription. If you aren't already logged into your SAP Press account on the website, go ahead and do this by clicking on the Login button on the upper right of the page. Return to the home page and click on the Library button. You can add these to your library by clicking on the Add button. If you're looking for a specific topic, you can also search by keyword to see books that talk about that specific area. Let's go ahead and search for SAP BRIM. Once I find the book I want to add to the library, I'll add it. If you close out of this window, you'll notice that the book is now appearing in my library. You can click anywhere on its title or cover to get it to open up. You can also search by keyword here to find specific content that appears only in books you've added to your library. I'll search for SAP BRIM once more and then click on one of the interesting results. This will open up our e-reader here, you can click on the arrows alongside the left and right edges to move forward or backward in the text. You can also view the entire table of contents by opening up the tree on the left of the screen. Here, you'll be able to see chapter titles along with major headings and subheadings. You can click on any of these and the e-reader will go right to that page. If you find a section particularly helpful and you'd like to access it easily in the future, you can create a bookmark by clicking on the Create Bookmark button. You can add a title and description before saving, and once you've done that, it will be saved in the Bookmark tab. You'll see that the bookmark I just created is now available here for access anytime I go back to the Bookmark tab while reading this book. For now though, let's go back to the library. Here, you also have the option to remove a book from the library if you no longer want it appearing. You can do this by clicking on the X and then the Delete button. While this will remove it from your library, you can still access the book and add it back the same way you initially added it. If you'd like to read on a mobile device or even offline, we have an application that lets you do just that. It's available for both Apple and Android devices in the respective app store under the name SAP Press. Once you've downloaded the app, you can open it and log in using the same credentials you use to log in to our website. The home page of the app lets you access different topics if subscribed to a full or multi-topic subscription. You can drill down into different subtopics by clicking on the areas that interest you. This is the same navigation that you'd find on our website. On the right side of the screen, you'll notice that favorited books include a blue star next to them. These can be easily added and removed by tapping on the star. On the bottom navigation, you can also find a list of all favorite books. To read a book, click on the cover or title and it will open that book. You'll be given the option to read using mobile data or over Wi-Fi only. Choose the option that you'd like. You can also download the book for offline reading by clicking on the download button here when the book first opens, or on the downward arrow that appears next to the book's title on the library screen. If you download a book and want to free up space on your device down the road, you can press the trash can icon to remove the saved version. To read once you've selected a book, you can scroll through pages by swiping to the left or to the right. You can also open the table of contents and navigate this way, just as you did on the e-reader on our website. In the reading preferences section, denoted by the AA icon, you can change the font size and typeface to best match your reading preference, as well as change from the normal display to a night mode. You also have the opportunity to change the swiping functionality from side to side to up and down. Any highlight that you've created in the web e-reader will be synced over to the application and you can find these by going to the top and clicking on the highlight option. You can also add a note to the text that can be saved in the highlights section here. And there are two ways to search within the app, similar to the website. First, the in-book search can be found by going to the upper left of the screen and typing your query in. If you're back on the library screen, however, you can search for any book that covers a topic by clicking on the search option and inputting the keyword you'd like to look for. Lastly, let's discuss the settings tab at the bottom. Here you have the option to delete all downloaded books from your device, manage your subscription to see what topics you were subscribed to and when the subscription term will end, manage your devices that are using the subscription, change the download settings to work on Wi-Fi only, view our different help and informational page, and contact support to troubleshoot issues or report bugs. Now that you know how to use our e-reader and mobile apps, go ahead and continue your SAP journey. Thanks for your interest in an SAP subscription and happy learning.